Senate President Ahmad Lawan on Sunday urged the Southeast to move to the center of the nation's politics. He said, the Imo State Governor, Hope Uzadema has achieved so much in one year because he took his politics beyond the Southeast. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo urged the Imo Governor to stay focused. They spoke in Oweri, the capital, the state capital, during a Thanksgiving to commemorate Uzadema's first anniversary as governor. Lawan said, let me say the presence of the vice president, representing the president and all the governors here, is a very clear testimony of his relationship with the center of Nigeria. He doesn't waste time looking for an opportunity like this. And the result is what you see. He has achieved so much in one year because he does not play his politics only in the South East. He has taken his politics to the center as well. And I will take this opportunity to appeal to our people in the South East. Grab the opportunity to be at the center of Nigerian politics. The All Progressive Congress APC administration of President Muhammad Buhari is so willing, so liberal, and so forthcoming to support every part of Nigeria to make sure that Nigeria is evenly developed. So, what we are witnessing here in Imo will be replicated in Ebonyi. We hope by the grace of God, Anambra is coming on board. We are expecting Abia to be on board, and of course, we are hoping to bring Enugu on board. Nigeria should be a united country where the progressives provide the leadership for this country to be great. Osibanjo expressed confidence that Nigeria would overcome its challenges. By the grace of God, we, the Nigerian people, are more than able to surmount them. So, I said to you, people of Imo and the great people of Nigeria, yes, we have work to do. Yes, we have much to repair, but we are undated. The problems we see today are the stepping stones or to our great future. We are, by the grace of God, mightier than our challenges, he said. The vice president was received at the airport by Uzodema and former governors Oji Uzokalu and uh, Mohammed Bindu of Adamawa. There were also members of the Federal Executive Council members, including Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami San, and Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngigi. While he acknowledged some of the strides so far recorded under Uzodema, the pre vice president urged him to stay focused on delivering quality leadership in service to the people of Imo State, while ensuring their well-being remains a cardinal point for the state government. There are at least three possible forms of opposition to the government. One is political opposition, the second is time, and the third is the leader himself. When the leader is discouraged or distracted, the most crucial factor is you, the leader. How you deal with time and political opposition will determine success or failure. Don't look back. Keep focused. Stay on track, he said. Uzadema recalled the event that led to the recovery of his mandate at the Supreme Court. He reminded us that it was the long way we have traveled to get back our votes. The battle from the forces of darkness fought me to deny me my victory at the polls. However, the Imo people appreciated the hand of God in the restoration of my mandate. That is why we are starting this anniversary with a church service. 
My covenant with God is that I will make this state and our people better than we met them. I am not governor to boast that I am richer than the state and to acquire illegally the properties of Imo states. When I took over office, I was not given any handover notes, but I do, I do know that I was not elected to give excuses. I must tell you one year after, we have not failed Imo people. We have restored confidence in governance, and in just one year, we have dramatically changed the narrative by constructing solid and world-class rules. The days of lawlessness are over. We have restored democracy, and we are able to clean up the frauds in the civil service system, and more things positively will be done. Also, the church service we had attended by Deputy Senate President Ovie Omoagege, the Deputy Speaker Ahmed Idris Wase, Governors Babajinde Sawolu of Lagos State, Yahaya Belo, Kayode Fayemi Ekiti State, Dev Umahi Ebonyi, and May Malabuni of Yobe State. Also present were former Imo State Governor Ikedi Ohakim, the former Abia State Governor, now Senator Theodore Oji, former Borno Governor Alimo du Sherif, while wife of former President Goodluck Jonathan, Dame Patience, among other dignitaries. All right, guys, Uzadema is playing the politics at the center, and that is why Imo State is receiving uh, the people at the center in the state. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular new story? I said, well, it is time to move to the center of the nation and play the politics at the center. The Senate president has admonished the people of the Southeast. So Southeast politicians, Southeast um, people have been advised and urged to play the politics, move to the center. So they can get the dividends of the center as it were well it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story as it is well don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.